Hi guys, Lemmy here and welcome back to another art video. It is Friday, so we are getting some fan art and this is the long-awaited Beetlejuice picture that I have owed you guys for nine months. That's right, I did the line art nine months ago and I did finish coloring it very shortly after doing line art, but I got so busy with my uploads that I totally forgot to actually upload the coloring of it. So you're finally going to get it nine months later and I'm really sorry about that. Also the video quality isn't that great. I didn't have the recording set up that I have right now. So it's a little bit like off center as you'll see. And also I'm doing some weird angles because I'm showing you how I'm getting all the colors to drip at the very beginning. So bear with me, but uh, I really love how this picture came out. I love that I had the rainbow colors dripping down and then the black dripping upward. And then I wrote Beetlejuice within those black drips so it would be a nice little kind of Easter egg to find. Um, and I really loved the animated series when I was little. So that was my inspiration for doing this picture. I always really liked Lydia Dietz. And I always thought she was like really cute in her little outfit, little red one that looked like a spider web. And Beetlejuice was so like, ugh, and I couldn't stand him. But it was, it was definitely an interesting show. I feel like there aren't as many shows like that now. Like there was Ah Real Monsters and there was Beetlejuice and like the Addams Family and the Munsters and like all these creepy shows, but I feel like they don't really have that anymore. And they were all kids shows too. It wasn't like American Horror Story, which is supposed to be like a little bit like, whoa, what's going on there? But they had all these cute little creepy shows, but they weren't really creepy. They were just like really cute. So it's kind of weird that they're, they're gone now, but I had fond memories of it. And I remember the opening was always so weird and like it was kind of like you were riding a roller coaster and it was so interesting and different that I really wanted to do a painting like this because I could kind of make it fun but also dark at the same time where it would be like colorful but also a little bit dark. And I originally wanted the Beetlejuice in the background to be a silhouette but I decided to kind of do a little bit of a silhouette, but mostly um, kind of color it in a little bit because I wanted little pops of color throughout. I didn't want it to be too bland looking. So I did kind of go for a semi sort of realistic doll face for Lydia because I thought that would be appropriate. And uh, I always draw girls, like when I'm trying to make them look creepy, I always draw them just facing you full on. Otherwise, I hardly ever draw characters facing people full on. I don't know why that is, but I've noticed I do that a lot. And I don't know why. It's my thing. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, um, other things that you might notice is like the area behind Lydia is kind of like a casket shape. And I also put stained glass on the sides of it um, to kind of give it like a interesting look, I guess. Some, something more interesting than just a black casket shape. I thought that the stained glass would kind of add interest to the picture. But I also put butterflies behind Lydia that turn into bats when they go up towards Beetlejuice. So those are some things to notice. And that's all I really have to say about this picture. I feel so bad that it took so long to get to you guys. I mean, <laughs> I had people asking me about it pretty frequently. And I'd be like, oh yeah, that picture. And then I would be like, I gotta put that up. But then something else would come up, whether it was like a collaboration or something, and then I get distracted and so yeah, I'm so happy it's finally up because I really like this picture and it was so colorful when it was done. I was so happy with it and I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. And then it just got lost in the world of pictures that I have. So 
that's uh, this picture. And I'm going to focus my energy on finishing the suggestion poll winners uh, that I have left because I did do Percy Jackson and I have Ariel left and I also picked a wild card winner so that's going to be a surprise. So I hope that you guys like this picture and I hope it was worth waiting for and I'll talk to you next week really soon so I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend. Okay. Bye guys.